Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Tuesday, August 27th, I think. And today is just going to be a relaxed, chatty video with me. I am letting my hair air dry. I'm in a big oversized comfy t-shirt. I'm sitting on my day bed in my office and I have no makeup on and this is just me sitting talking with you girlfriend to girlfriend or maybe if this is a guy watching what's up hello you need this message as well but i really want to talk to you about something that i see a lot of my clients have been struggling with and that is the control the control the perfectionism being really really obsessed with the end goal when you're so obsessed and you're so controlling over getting to X amount of body fat or reaching that size zero or seeing that 110 pounds on the scale or the you, you want to look at yourself in the mirror and have the flattest stomach and be just emaciated. So many of my clients, they look absolutely incredible F night and day from when they first started to me to where they are now. They've lost all this weight. Their body is completely transformed. But I have to remind them of this because they are not even realizing what they have accomplished. They're already on, well, I don't have a six pack. Well, my weight's not this. I'm not at that size two yet. I don't see, I don't, I don't see my glute ham tie it. Like there's all of these, we're so damn hard on ourselves. And this is the balance of masculine and feminine energy. I'm gonna go deeper into this because this concept is a little is a little hard to understand at first, or maybe it was hard for me to understand at first, but this is something a lot of spiritual teachers talk about, but in fitness, we don't really talk about the masculine and the feminine energy, and you might think masculine and feminine energy are, are different than what, what I'm about to say. So the masculine energy is that do, 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 implement, structure, plan, go do your cardio, log every single food in your MyFitnessPal, and you need to weigh this much, it's all of that action do really harsh harshness the control the perfectionism that is masculine energy and you need to be balanced in order to achieve your goals because if you are vibing way too high in this masculine energy and you're all about the implementation the structure the do that's how i used to live there until pretty recently, let me tell you. And it was forever. Like I was only living in masculine energy. I was so serious. I was like in the gym, my brow would be frow. Like what's that word? I don't, my, I don't know. But I would look like this. People would be like, why? Oh my God. Like she's, she's mean. Like I was just, oh my God, just so serious. And if I didn't get the cardio machine that I wanted, if I didn't get the squat rack that I wanted, if I didn't, like it was, it would ruin my day. If my workout was not the best workout ever, my day was ruined. I would let my, I would, oh, I would tear myself apart because I was in such that masculine energy. And that is so hard on your heart, on your soul, on your happiness. And it gets to the point where your health and fitness journey is agonizing and it's not enjoyable anymore. And you start to get burnt out and you start to just really feel unhappy. And that's when as a coach, my heart bleeds for my clients because I see them taking the scale way too seriously. When you are so hard on yourself and you're in, in this control, in this perfectionism, you are stressing yourself out. You are raising your cortisol, which is your stress hormone, which is making you inflamed from within, which is affecting the scale actually. So you are stressing out so much about the scale and that stress that you are putting on the scale and on your body image and what you see in the mirror, that stress is making the scale increase. It is making your body puff up and inflame so you look puffier. So the more you stress about your progress, the, the worse you're gonna look. 
when you're in that masculine energy, that is all inflammatory response, stress, cortisol rising. So we need to learn to balance the feminine. We need to work on taking a step back and pausing and stretching and taking a bath and doing self-care and realizing what our small wins. Why don't you celebrate your small wins? You drinking a gallon of water, you getting to the gym five days a week, you doing your cardio on the days that you said that you were going to do your cardio, you going for a walk after dinner. What about journaling, meditating, breath work? There needs to be a balance of the masculine and the feminine energy in order to reach your goals. You, you should not just have a body image goal. You should also have a life, happiness, soul goal as well. This is actually something I talked to my client about yesterday um, because we are doing a little diet break for her because she's been dieting down and her calories are, are, have been low and she has a very hard job where she's on her feet for hours and hours and hours. Like her job is insane and her body is so inflamed from standing for 12 plus hours a day plus getting her workouts in plus all the stress that she's doing about her progress so i advised that we actually take a step back from the body goals right now and we're going to focus on athletic goals which is her masculine energy and then i recommended that she get she set some soul goals for her feminine energy such as reading, breath work, journaling, meditation, taking a bath, doing self-care. This type of, I'm sorry, my camera is falling. This type of goal matters to your progress. So I'm going to really, I think I'm just going to end this video here because I really don't want to make it too long. And I want you guys to understand this concept, but I really want you to look internally. And I want you to seriously ask yourself, Am I taking this a little bit too seriously? Am I a little bit too high in my masculine energy? Am I am I even doing anything to serve my feminine energy? Because there needs to be a balance. Are you super obsessed with the perfectionism? Do you get really, really hard and down on yourself when things don't go perfectly? Are you already on the next the next goal at the end of this year, next year? when you haven't even celebrated the goal that you just reached, that benchmark that you just reached. Your pants are getting looser. The scale is dropping. You look so much different than you did six months ago. Have you celebrated that? Or have you just been hard on yourself because you don't already have the six pack and you're not shredded like the competitors you see on stage? Because that's not real. And I don't think that should ever be anybody's goal is to look like a shredded competitor and Yes, I know that currently I look like a shredded competitor and I'm actually trying to get away from that. Believe it or not, I am I love how I look. I love how muscular I am. I love how defined my muscles are and how athletic I look, but this look is very tiring to keep up and my body hurts a lot of the time and I'm tired a lot of the time. So I'm actually taking a step back from the amount of workouts that I'm doing in the gym and I'm focusing a lot more on yoga and resting, 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 resting. I I stopped taking walks outside just so I am not so hard on my body. Um, I stopped doing spin because I, I don't want, I'm, I'm, I'm really pulling back on what I'm doing because this body is not easy to maintain and it hurts and it's, 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 it's tiring. And at the end of the day, I'm more concerned about my happiness and my quality of life and, and what my thoughts are inside. And for too freaking long, I have been scared of losing this look out of fear of what you'll think of me, if you'll still like me on social media, if I'll still have a job on social I, 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 in my past, a couple months ago, a couple, a couple weeks ago, I realized I have been putting my self-worth and my self-love in your hands and I had no self-love or self-worth for myself and I really was open. I, I opened my eyes to this and I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I did not think I was going to go on, but um, 
I'm on this journey of really, yes, I want you to get to your goals. I want you to be happy and healthy and in a body that you love. I think that you, yes, you should drop that excess fat that your body has been holding on to, but you don't have to be so hard on yourself to get that specific shredded six pack look that really honestly is, is not very fun to maintain. It's not possible to maintain. I'm, you know, the reason why I look the way that I do in my body and how shredded I am is because of the steps I took to raise my metabolic rate and put muscle on. I did the work that almost nobody does by doing a year long reverse diet where I was raising my calories up very, very high, lifting very, very heavy, but that consumed my life. That, that was my world. I was very in that masculine energy and it was not a happy time. It was a grind time. And honestly, when I look back and I, and I try to remember that time of my life, I barely remember it which is so sad because it was a year of my life. I barely remember it. And now, now that I am letting go of, of what my body looks like and how many calories I'm eating and how many calories I'm burning and all of the workouts and cardio and all the things, I'm letting go of that. I don't know what I weigh. I don't care what I weigh. I no longer wear crop tops. I don't, I don't know if anyone's noticed that, but I don't wear crop tops anymore because I don't want to be so body image focused. I'm wearing a big baggy t-shirt right now because I, I want to focus less on what I look like and focus more on what's in here and what's in here. Um, and I really want you guys to do the same. That is the balance of the masculine and feminine that I have never had before. This, what I'm, where I'm speaking from right now is from the feminine energy. But you, you guys know, I also speak from the masculine energy when I'm trying to motivate you to get to the gym on those days that you don't want to go. There is a balance here. There is a balance here of masculine getting that job done and then the feminine, the rest, the care, the support you give yourself, the compassion you give yourself. I hope this makes sense. It would mean the world to me if you would comment below and give me your feedback if this was a little out there for you, if this made you have like a, an aha moment where you're like, oh my God, she's so right. I'm living in this obsessive perfectionist masculine energy. Let me know. I would love your feedback. Um, I'm going to end this video here so it's not too long. Thank you guys so much for those of you who watched to the end. And if you did watch to the end, please, please, if you can, comment below for me. If When I do these long videos, it makes sense to me when I'm speaking it, but I really, I'm making this for you. It's not for me, it's for you. So please comment below if you liked this, if it resonated with you. Let's start a discussion. Let me help you gain more of that feminine energy. I would love to help you in the comments. So let start a discussion. I would love to connect with you and I will see you guys in the next video. It'll probably just be like a, a regular day in the life or something like that. Maybe I'll take you along on my Friday um, when I have the day off of work and I'm going to the beach. That's what I'm, that's what I'm planning on. So look forward to that later on this week and have a beautiful day guys. I love you so much.